In this video, we're going to go over some questions that pertain to acid strength and base strength. So let's start with this one. Which acid is the stronger acid? Would you say HF, hydrofluoric acid, or HTN, hydrocyanic acid? Now, we're given the Ka values for HF and ACN. So for hydrofluoric acid, the Ka value, the acid dissociation constant, is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. And for HDN, it's 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. So given the Ka values, which one is the stronger acid? Now, you need to know that acid strength increases with increase in Ka values. So the acid with the higher Ka value is going to be the stronger acid. And since 10 to the minus 4 is greater than 10 to the negative 10, HF is therefore a stronger acid than HCN. So this is the answer. Now, what about number 2? Which oxy acid is stronger, HNO2 or HNO3? The answer is HNO3. HNO3 is stronger than HNO2. It has a higher Ka value. Now, so you need to know this. For oxy acids, the acid with the greater number of oxygens is typically the stronger acid. So for example, HClO4 is a stronger acid than HClO3. And this is stronger than HClO2. And this is stronger than HClO. Now, HCl doesn't fit this trend. In fact, HCl is stronger than these three. So you can't put HCl in this trend. It doesn't have an oxygen. It's not considered to be an oxy acid. But for other oxy acids, like H2SO4, this is a stronger acid than H2SO3. So the trend works for oxy acids only, those that contain oxygen in it. Now let's move on to our next problem. Number three, which base is stronger? Is it ammonia or methoamine? Ammonia is NH3, methoamine is CH3NH2. Now we're given the Kb values of these two bases. This is the base dissociation constant. And so the Kb for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. And the Kb for methoamine is 4.4 times 10 to the minus 5. So given this information, which base is stronger? Now you need to know that base strength increases with higher Kb values. These two are proportional. So which value is higher, 10 to the negative 5 or 10 to the minus 4? Negative 4 is higher than negative 5 on a number line. So let's say if you were to draw a number line, here's 0, this is 5, here's a negative 5. The higher numbers are on the right side, so negative 4 is higher than negative 5, which means that methoamine is the stronger base because it has a higher Kb value. Now, what about the next one? Which acid is stronger? Is it HBr or HI? Hydrobromic acid or hydroiodic acid? And how can we find the answer without knowing any Ka or pKa values? Now, you need to know the trend for acids. So let's say this is carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So these are the elements in the periodic table. Acid strength increases as you go to the right and as you go down. For acids, if, if hydrogen is directly attached to these elements. If it's not, then this trend may not apply. So keep that in mind. So this is for binary acids. So what this means is that HI is a stronger acid than HBr, which is stronger than HDL, and that's stronger than HF. And HF is stronger than water. Water is more acidic than ammonia and ammonia is more acidic than methane. So that's the trend for the binary acids when H is directly attached to the element itself. So comparing HBr and HI, you can see that HI is stronger in acidity than HBr. So HI is the answer. That's the stronger acid. Number five, 
which acid is stronger, HOCl or HOI? You can also write it as HClO, hypochlorous acid, versus HIO, hypoiodous acid. So which one is stronger? Now, recall the trend for the binary acids, where we said that HI is a stronger acid than HBr, which is stronger than HCl, which is stronger than HF. So HI is more acidic than HCl. That's if hydrogen is directly attached to iodide and uh, chloride. But in this case, it's actually attached to the oxygen in these elements. So that trend does not apply. So it turns out for oxyacids, acid strength increases due to increase in electron activity. So the trend is opposite for this example. So what this means is that HClO is the stronger acid than HIO because chlorine is more electronegative than iodine. So this is the answer. So make sure you understand this. For oxyacids, electronegativity is the main reason why HDLO is more acidic than HIO. But for binary acids, it has to do with atomic size. The iodide ion is bigger than the chloride ion. And so the iodine ion is more stable. It can stabilize the negative charge better than the chloride ion can. And so it doesn't really need the hydrogen to be attached to it. So it's more easier to ionize. So just to make sure you got that, which acid is stronger, HBr or HI? And what about HBRO versus HIO? Which acid is stronger? So for binary acids, the ones that don't have oxygen, acid strength increases due to increase in size. So HI is a stronger acid than HBr. Now for oxy acids, the element that is more electronegative is going to be a, the one that's associated with the stronger acid. So bromine is more electronegative than iodine. So HBRO is a stronger acid than HIO. Number six, which of the following is considered to be a weak acid? Is it HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, HF, or HClO4? Now, it pays to know the six common strong acids, and these are HI, HBr, HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, and HClO4. So, if you're trying to identify if an acid is strong or weak, if it's not one of these six acids, it's safe to say that what you're dealing with is a weak acid. Now, it's not 100% guarantee, but it's a, a good rule of thumb. So, HCl is a strong acid. H2SO4 is a strong acid. HNO3 is a strong acid. And perchloric acid is also strong. So, the weak acid is HF, hydrofluoric acid. And that's the answer. Number seven, which base is stronger, HS minus or NO2 minus? Now we're given the Ka values for the conjugate acids. So for H2S, the Ka value is about one times 10 to the minus seven. And for HNO2, the Ka value is four times 10 to the minus four. So with this information, how can we determine which base is stronger? Now, you need to know this rule of thumb. The stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. So which acid is stronger, H2S or HNO2? Negative 4 is greater than negative 7 based on a number line. So HNO2 is the stronger acid. So I'm going to write SA for stronger acid. That means that the conjugate base is going to be the weaker base, WB for weaker base, which means this one has to be the stronger base because it's associated with the weaker acid. So the weaker the acid, the stronger the conjugate base, and the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. So we're looking for the base that's stronger, 
that's going to be the one with the weaker conjugate acid. So the answer is HS minus or SH minus. Number eight, which acid is stronger? Is it the hypochlorous acid or acetic acid? HCLO or HC2H3O2? Now we're given the pKa values for these two acids. So the pKa for hypochlorous acid, that's 7.46. And for acetic acid, the pKa is 4.74. So what is the relationship between acid strength and pKa? Now we know that acids with a very high Ka value represent strong acids. So acid strength increases with uh, increasing Ka values. But what about pKa values? As the pKa value increases, it turns out that the acid strength decreases. So what you need to understand is that strong acids have low pKa values. As the pKa decreases, the acid strength increases. So 4.74 is lower than 7.46, which means that acetic acid is the stronger acid.